As an intern, I had an edge because I was taught how to read news. Okay. So when I got in, I was given a script. I was told, try it. Let's see if we can onboard you. So the first take was mm -hmm. really good. Wow. So they said, we're going to train you a bit more mm -hmm. and then maybe have you do news in three weeks. So I did news after that because I probably proved myself. When mm -hmm. I was done in the three months, they gave mm -hmm. me a job. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to Sanaa Namitino. It is yet another episode where we are having another amazing guest. We continue the series of Kenya's finest radio presenters and in the building. Simunajua kama kawaida, na waletianga the best of the best. Today we have none other than Maria in the show and she will be talking about uh, how her journey has been in the radio uh, ministry. I believe that it, that is what it is for her and Nata to be more about herself, the break, breakfast show that she does and many other things about her. Zile personals in maybe mneza kwa haujui. So Maria Karibu sana to the show. Thank you so much for having me. We are so excited to have you. I appreciate you being here. <laughs> so for someone who might be watching the show for the the very first time okay. you can introduce yourself right. on your camera number three all right yes, okay yes. so my name is maria maka omwendi omwendi married to omwendi tony mm -hmm. omwendi i am mm -hmm. a mother of one a radio presenter at hope fm i do the breakfast show it's called activate together with george kishuru and it's amazing just as mm -hmm. you have said yes it's ministry for me mm -hmm. so yes mm -hmm. i am a christian <laughs> i'm a christian broadcaster Amazing, amazing. Yeah. We're so excited to have you. All right. Uh, so you can tell us more about yourself. Uh, where did you go to school? Okay. Preschool, <laughs> primary, high school? <laughs> okay, all right. Um, so uh, primary, pr nursery school. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> but I went to uh, a school called CMF. I was actually the, CMF. I was part of the class that began the school. Whoa. I understand it's a big school nowadays. Nice, nice. So, yeah. So, after that, I went to primary school. I went to boarding school. Boarding school. Yeah, in Nukambani, in it was Kakuyuni Primary Kapuyuni School. Primary school. <laughs> Very tough, <laughs> tough school right there. But one thing I appreciate about my primary school is that it uh -huh. gave me an understanding to value education. Wow. I think Nilikuwa wow. Natsheza na Masomo Sana. Uko na Yeah, and it was uh -huh. really tough. And I sort of got okay. a sense of how important education is in mm. life. Mm -hmm. Then after that, I went to Mumbi High School. Mumbi High School, yes, where is that? Muranga Town. Wow. Yes, mm -hmm. I have to say the town. <laughs> <laughs> town. <laughs> anyway, yeah, Muranga mm -hmm. Town. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I cleared. Then after that, I went to campus. I went mm. to the University of Nairobi, wow. did broadcast and mm. journalism studies mm. and here I am. Wow, wow. Yeah. So how was it like? Did you discover your gifting into becoming a radio mm -hmm. very earlier on in life, that is in high school or in primary? Or how was it for you? Okay, let me say this. I, I think mm. my, my teachers were very instrumental in bringing up the speaking in me because okay. I wanted to be a doctor. Okay. <laughs> and then biology uh -huh. did its thing. <laughs> But anyway, I wanted to be a doctor, and then after that, I wanted to, to do international relations. Okay. But then in school, all mm. the way from primary school wow. to high school, mm -hmm. anytime there were guests, anytime we went outside to say a funky and mm. came back, mm. I always was chosen to do the vote of thanks wow. and uh, mm. to speak maybe on what happened mm. or the uh, encounters and things like that. Mm -hmm. So I was really, I, I would say I was pushed into public speaking. Mm -hmm. I never thought I had it in me. Okay. And so it just, when I was in Form 3, I think I thought of, you know, maybe journalism, maybe mm -hmm. IR. Mm -hmm. Then when I cleared school is when I thought, now I went to, I went to do a diploma. Mm -hmm. Then um, uh, in one of the courses, was international relations as okay. a as a unit. Okay. So when I was doing it, it was mm. really hard. I think I just mm. wasn't open to, <laughs> to read it. So it was really hard and I said, you know what, let yeah. me just do something that I've been doing, which yes. is speaking. Mm -hmm. So that's how I dropped IR and mm -hmm. then I went ahead to do my degree in the University of Nairobi. Now I pursued journalism. So I think people pushed me to it wow. because of constantly calling me out mm. to speak uh, before Mm -hmm. and in front of people. Mm -hmm. So that's how I got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't say I knew I wanted to be a journalist. In the Kwatu Wase. Yeah, Wase. Okay. Mm -hmm. So for you, uh, 
how, how did your parents react? Did they always know that this is a gift that is in our child? Yeah. How, how was their reaction? So my mom, mm -hmm. everywhere she went when I was growing up, mm -hmm. she would tell people about me as the storyteller wow. of the home. She'd say, <laughs> I have this daughter, mm -hmm. she's always the storyteller. When the first born? Second born, oh, nice. in a family of four. So uh, how was it for you, Ukiwa, Ukiwa Pale, BDS school? Did you always know Okay, talker, because so many people graduate out of uh, uh, campus. Mm -hmm. So how, how was it for you? Did you know you will secure a job immediately after campus? Mm -hmm. uh, or how was it for you? I think for me, mm -hmm. the reality of it hit me uh, mm -hmm. during graduation. Mm -hmm. That, you know, it's so many of us. Mm -hmm. And then I got that little bit of panic, you know, mm -hmm. like, you know what? <laughs> what's the space for me yes yes and i had uh, so many ideas of uh, what i wanted to become yes. when it comes to journalism uh -huh. but again what um I, I think i would have appreciated back then which uh -huh. i take time to tell uh journalism students is okay i wish someone told me mm. that you know i could have something of my own running mm. because in mm. my time when i was graduating mm. i don't think youtube was as big as yes it is right very now. so true. imagine if i utilized it mm -hmm. then mm. or you know just having a website back then you know so all these things mm. were coming into my mind but way after mm. because now the reality of tamakin was there mm. the reality of knowing that you know i thought i could just up and run become a, an an anchor yes. a journal, i mean a reporter mm. I mean, the reality of it is when you're dropping your CVs and nobody's calling you for jobs, nobody's calling you we, for internships. We, we. Yeah. Internship <laughs> is also a struggle. Yeah. You know? yeah. So that whole reality hit yeah. me there, but yeah. I wasn't thinking about it when I was in school. Wow. I thought it was a smooth sale. Because your time, your time nakumbuka vizuri mm -hmm. TV stations unge count. Yeah. Pale kwenye TV side kwa TV yeah. station ni mingi siju yeah. adi karibu one hundred plus. I, I Yes. Yeah, so basically, I, I believe that was something mm -hmm. something worth thinking about. Yeah. So, uh huh. How did you make a career? This is one question I usually ask many people who I bring on the show, mm -hmm. because uh, one assumption that we have, even for even for young guys in in Kenya, mm -hmm. is anitamka. Uh, Alafu nitapata everything rahisi, nimekewa on a silver plate for me to just uh, walk in. So utakuta mtu wa mekatu pale kwenye TV mm -hmm. the whole day, pale wow. kwenye simu the whole day. Yeah. So what take us through one of your days. How is it for you uh, ukia mkapali asubui? How did you make, how, right. how, how, do you, how is how is it for you? So my journey began, mm. I got an internship with an online radio station. Okay. That was the beginning for me. Ilkwe Nice FM. Oh, okay. In uh -huh. And uh, that's where I began. So mm. it was an online station and I remember my lecturer mm -hmm. recommended me for it. Wow. Yeah. So when I got in, I got in to do the news. Mm -hmm. So... One thing I actually really appreciate my parents for mm -hmm. is that besides the normal education, they mm -hmm. allowed me to take voice classes. Okay. So I went for voice classes. So by the time I was going to Nice FM, mm -hmm. I had an edge. As mm -hmm. an intern, I had an edge because I was taught how to read news. Okay. So when I got in, I was given a script. I was told, try it. Let's see if we can onboard you. So the first take was mm -hmm. really good. Wow. So they said, we're going to train you a bit more mm -hmm. and then maybe have you do news in three weeks. Okay. So that's how it began for me. So mm. I was doing news mm. and then when I was doing news, still going to class. Because okay. internship is still a mid school. Yeah. Um so I did news after that because I probably proved myself when mm. I was done mm. in the three months they gave mm. me a job. Wow. Yeah. So immediately after Yes, they okay. said we're going to retain you. But mm. anyway, let's not even talk about the salary. <laughs> what? You know what you're crying. Uh, uh, Amy, it's like you're begging for your pay. Yeah. But anyway, I really don't care so much for the salary because they give me the exposure and uh -huh. the experience as well. Uh -huh. So I got in and then before time, in like eight months mm. with them, they gave me the position of a news editor. Okay. So now I was editing, I was training in terms as well. Mm. And then after that, I mm. graduated. Mm. So after graduation, I still had a job. Okay. So still much, the same job yeah, at still NICE. Still the same job at mm. NICE. Mm. Yeah, still a struggle to get the salary. Mm. But then I'm like, okay, I'm grateful for the opportunity. You mm. know? Mm. So when I was done there, I left. I went to uh, WTV. Okay. 
went there, I mm. did again. Yo, Bando Eco, WTV. <laughs> when is this? Like, every time, everyone's talking about closing. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, anyway, so uh, it was in 2016. 2016. Now, 2016, I'm at WTV. Okay. Then it was a struggle, but then I got a show. I was mm-hmm. doing a, a show with them, a TV show. And then after that, I left. Mm-hmm. They, they they still were on operation, but I left too. I just felt like I had something mm-hmm. that was unleft or was left studying for radio. Mm-hmm. So I really wanted to get back to radio. Wow. So I left WTV. I went, became a producer with a certain company. Okay. So just producing corporate films and mm-hmm. corporate um, documentaries. Oh, nice. And then after that, I left. Mm-hmm. And that's how I went to Hope FM. This wow. is now in 2018. 2018. Yes. Now, when I got into Hope FM again, I got in as a news reporter. Okay. Slash Interesting. Anchor. Yes. Interesting. Yeah. So, kuna, kuna kitu watu husa hau sana, mm-hmm. uh, that as much as you have the talent, mm-hmm. uh, making it a career is something else. Because I might be very good at speaking, mm-hmm. but uh, turning it in, into a career is very important. Mm-hmm. So what's, what's that culture for you uh, that you are, you are able to turn your talent from mm-hmm. uh, all through? Hata kama watu alikuwa na kuambia ukianza pali kwenye ukingia campus, mm-hmm. how did you turn it mm-hmm. into a career? Is it, do you have a culture where you get to practice or work on your craft? What time do you wake uh, up? Take us through okay. one single day. Ukia mkapali asubuhi. Oh, okay. Yeah. For me, I think because of what I do, mm-hmm. because it's Christian. Yes. For me, my culture is feeding wow. myself with Christian content. Mm-hmm. So my culture will be the word of God. My culture mm-hmm. is uh, uh, is listening mm-hmm. to what other uh, fellow Christian broadcasters are doing, mm-hmm. and also listening to the word of God. Seasonal uh, Christian speakers as well, wow. listening to what they do mm-hmm. and prayer, because mm-hmm. you can't take that away from a Christian uh, broadcaster. So mm-hmm. for me, my my day right now, because mm-hmm. now I'm doing the 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 morning show. Yes. My day begins at three. Three a.m. In the morning, yes. So <laughs> I wake up and nice. uh, I'll say a prayer, mm-hmm. and then when I'm done, I'll take my a shower. Then after that, I'll you know just mm-hmm. be in the in the Uber, for example, mm-hmm. just going through scripture, wow. just listening. Of course sensitivity to the Holy Spirit because that's now part of my job. So mm. listening to mm. what God is saying about seasons because that also entails praying for people and mm. praying over people's mm. needs. And so you don't want to pray for, for people from a place of emptiness. Mm. So just being sensitive. And then after that, I'll get on air. Then I'm, I'm done by nine. Wow. And then when I'm done by nine, then the, the, there's preparation for the following day. Mm-hmm. That be, that happens between maybe nine to ten. And nine to ten. Nine to eleven. Okay. And then after that, now you go home and I'll catch up with the rest mm-hmm. of the activities. So pretty much my morning is really, really tied up okay. as of now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow, wow. So uh, for you, uki, uki anza pale kwenye uki wata campus, who are some of the people who you used to look up to? Maybe uh, back then and hey, now. <laughs> back then, I thought I would be Christian. Oh, wow. Before, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I was just looking at CNN and I'm like, you mm-hmm. know, CNN is beckoning. Uh, it's calling on yeah, you. <laughs> every day. So she was one of them. Wow. Sure, of course. Wow. I can't, you know, take away mm. from what she's done to mm. me. Mm. And uh, I would say Jeff Koenange as well. Wow. Pretty uh, mm. big deal. Mm. But then for me, mm. when I got into Hope FM mm-hmm. and began doing uh, ministry. Mm-hmm. I think all my options and all my my plans changed because mm-hmm. right now I don't see myself reading news wow. ever again. I mm-hmm. don't see myself reporting. Mm-hmm. Those are not things I would think. Maybe I, I see myself doing corporate communication. Okay, but then I want to um, to bank on my Christian values mm-hmm. okay. and my Christian. Mm-hmm. Uh, Christian Christian broadcasting career mm. and that's what I see myself advancing so if you look at my pages mm. on Facebook on Instagram on mm. Twitter mm-hmm. uh, LinkedIn oh. also on YouTube mm. all you'll see is Christian content oh. because that's now who I am mm. so I'd say going to Hope FM really changed the trajectory of what journalism mm. meant to me mm. and so what I have I want to use to speak about God 
Wow. So what's a popular myth? This a bit this a bit off Kidogo. Mm-hmm. What's a popular myth that people associate with uh, you as a presenter? Because uh, for me, as an MC and also as a TV presenter, mm-hmm. most of people think you have so much money. Hile tu ya ine ukotu na yao apo kwenye simu, unataka tu kutumia tu watu. So, utapata pali kwenye inbox, wana kutumia, eh, ni haje barak, send me something, I'm going through this, I am a mama, suffering. So, what, how is it for you? I think that's what you're going through. And for me, I think, for me also people think I'm constantly praying. Okay. <laughs> like I'm constantly just when you see my way, I am you know, <laughs> and I remember, you know, it's like I, 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 I don't talk, it's like uh-huh. I don't have and then the the funny thing for me is because I'm also married to a pastor. Oh nice. So now yeah. people people come to me and they're like, I know by you. So you know my everything ni pay chai. Hata ni pay chai or ni pay chai is a prayer. You know? so, I think that for me is something associated really much with me. So mm-hmm. I also maybe have another side. Mm-hmm. I'm not always praying. Yes. Even yes. I'm not always yeah. praying. Yeah. Yeah. So for me that what's your vision for maybe the the media even in Kenya because kidogo mtu wa watu wanaweza sema hata watu wanasemanga kuna kuna venye it's 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 not clean they, they they are not producing clean content what 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 are you hoping even as a as a as a presenter that would even happen in the Kenyan industry ya uh, media and stuff yeah. uh, at least v to z z kwa line maybe streamlined better what what's your take on that i think for me what mm. i feel is missing is values 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 mm. in the media mm. and also in the society okay. sometimes i tend to associate that with bad parenting mm-hmm. because you see what you're given or what you miss out or what you're exposed to when you're really young yeah. is what you crave for yes. growing up mm. so for me i feel like we're lacking in values as a society mm-hmm. and that's why that's why it was really hard for me when uh, dr ezekiel mm. was taken out of the kenya film and and stuff mm-hmm. but now i'm glad that he's back he's also back. in mm-hmm. another angle so yes. for me i feel like if we could really try and clean up the airways yeah and if we could go back to the morals you know mm-hmm. i'm not saying mm-hmm. I, I mean if all of us can be saved thank god mm-hmm. but you see all of us can't i'm thinking i pray we can or, yes. but Amen. you see values <laughs> values doesn't have to do necessarily with, with being Christianity. born again yeah. yes yes so morals mm. you know these are things that can be mm. inborn or mm. taught or mm. inculcated to mm. our yes. young people as mm. they're growing up so i feel like if we could get it right mm-hmm. with the values mm. then what we show on our screens mm. will be in line with that yeah yeah and yeah. that's missing okay so uh ukiwa kwenye kwa industry ya ya na ministry ya radio which is one moment that you would count as uh, maybe inspiring maybe iliko happeni and you are like this is why i am, i do radio yeah. ama one moment which you can't forget which was quite embarrassing yeah. for you yani who is yeah. yes oh goodness yeah. <laughs> you know those questions when someone asks you and everything just like, yeah. Yeah. i think that is that question <laughs> but i would say one of my highlight moments is anytime someone gives their lives to jesus christ that wow. mm. really, really is a good mm. moment for me mm. about embarrassing mm. i think sometimes when you when you just go blank on air mm. i've had such moments and <laughs> okay ni nasema nini kwa hiyo link you know uh-huh. like you, you have those moments where uh-huh. you knew what you wanted to say and then maybe something just throws you uh-huh. off uh-huh. and then you're like okay you're uh-huh. just murmuring and blabbing things uh-huh. and uh-huh. then you're embarrassed at the end of the day uh-huh. then i've also had moments when i was speaking on uh-huh. air and okay. then from now i just began to cough <laughs> and then <laughs> <laughs> when I had to, you know in between the thoughts uh-huh. I just had to fade up my to fade up the mic and we'll I play mean, music amazing, <laughs> because I mean I'm coughing so uh-huh. so, so, <laughs> so I think this are moments that happen uh-huh. and I'm really grateful that it's radio yes and it's yes. not TV because uh-huh. I don't know how that going to be ingekuwa more pressure <laughs> yeah so but kwa radio kuna hiyo masi ya atukuoni eh yeah Okay so uh still on that note uh ukiwa ukiwa kwa presenting ukiwa pale kwenye radio yenye maybe uh, there was a, there is a particular maybe someone listener mwenye ameko 
kusikiliza for quite a long time maybe you, you do you know a name yeah. na maybe ana uh, he's a big fan or she is a big fan for you mm. all right now yeah. Yeah. So for us, there are so many uh-huh. uh, people I know. We master them. They, mm-hmm. You want me to mention their names? You can mention a name. Okay, that is Estambele. Uh-huh. I know she listens. Estambele. Uh-huh. Yes, I know who else. I, Joski Shams. Joski Shams. Nice. Uh-huh. I, I know my mother. Uh-huh. She listens. Nice, nice. Yeah. Uh-huh. I know so many people. Who else? Corazon, I know she listens. So people that when you are on there, you just see comments coming in. How how is it for you, Ukijua? These people are always there for you. What's that feeling that comes? There's pressure to deliver. Uh-huh. Like you can't okay. go there uh-huh. um, empty. Uh-huh. Like people are tuned in to listen because uh-huh. they know you had God. Uh-huh. You can minister to their situation. So there's that constant prayer. Uh-huh. I mean pressure and uh-huh. reminder that you uh-huh. just can't go. You can't just show up empty. Uh-huh. So that all also is something that helps me. Uh-huh. Just know that when you fill that mic up, someone is waiting to be encouraged. Wow. So yeah. Wow. Ah, uh, season. Kuna season. Flani ili kujia, especially during COVID. Mm-hmm. And ili kujia, and many people I believe were just at home looking for something to listen to. Mm-hmm. How was uh, how how would you explain the scene uh how how the industry was before mm-hmm. and after covid how has it been now uh, this is so interesting when covid hit uh-huh. i think um it was also pressure for us as presenters mm-hmm. in my station um to 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 up, upgrade in terms of um hope okay there was so much hopelessness yes. in the in the country mm-hmm. and people were losing jobs people yes. were losing didn't have an income their shares were shutting you mm-hmm. and so people were writing in landlords mm-hmm. on their necks mm-hmm. and it was really uh, it was really crazy yeah and so during that covid season i would say for us as presenters not mm-hmm. just speaking for myself but mm-hmm. at hope fm mm-hmm. there was that pressure to just ensure wow. that we're feeding hope and mm-hmm. encouraging at that point is when hope fm that name hope came, came alive like came alive uh, and so there was that um there's that pressure and i would call it good pressure mm-hmm. to ensure that people are fed yeah. and people don't give up you mm-hmm. know we don't mm-hmm. see um uh increase in n- numbers of suicidal cases yes. you know yes. what hopelessness mm-hmm. can bring yes and so that really was a very um very important season mm-hmm. at the same time very delicate mm-hmm. because now all people were looking forward to is how can we be encouraged how yes. can we get hope mm-hmm. and so the radios the mm-hmm. tvs had a lot of work to sell mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. and i would say that really made us understand that we just don't exist for information I very think. true we, infor- we, we mm-hmm. exist because we can speak words of hope and encouragement mm-hmm. and so after that was there was a whole calm mm-hmm. but our lives are never the same again very true yeah mm. others are even yet to buy mask I know. you can't forget yeah, how that yeah. season was yeah. it was quite a season yeah. so to keep wrap up show mm-hmm. i know time we may end and be to keep wrap up show mm-hmm. we want to do the pop quiz so okay. pop quiz ni very simple basic questions about yourself right. so number one What is your favorite food? What do you love eating? <laughs> gideri. Oh my god, many people from high school don't love gideri. I do, I do. I'm just simple like that. I do know this is something about gideri. After uh-huh. when I'm totally unwell. Uh-huh. It's the only thing in that you can eat. Wow. So yeah, it's an easy cook for me and any day. Uh-huh. I'm just looking forward to <laughs> nice, nice. What's your favorite destination? Like to kikwambia leo sana na mitindo tunataka kupeleka tour. Where would you choose to go? <laughs> um, so I think I used to love Bahamas. Bahamas. Still do. Uh-huh. But right now I think Dubai. Dubai. Yes. The biggest city we have yeah, in the world. I really want to go Amazing. Crew yangu mmesikia tunapeleka Maria Please. Dubai. <laughs> So uh what's your mobile phone application yenu you unatumia know, sana maybe for communication or for fun which which for is that fun, eh. to find my best app is Pinterest Pinterest yes. why I I just like how it, it has a whole a whole it's like a magazine to uh-huh. me there's uh-huh. clothes there's uh-huh. quotes uh-huh. there's food nice. there's just everything uh-huh. so I think I wouldn't delete that app oh, and nice. there's no 
much communication. <laughs> it's just seen. Okay. So your favorite pet. And have you ever had a pet? Yes, I have. Uh-huh. Um, I hope my husband listens to this. <laughs> Tafazali. I love cats. Wow. Growing wow. up, uh-huh. gro- I've grown up my, my home. Uh-huh. We, ha- we always have pets, especially uh-huh. cats. Right uh-huh. now, I saw they have a dog, so it's cats and dogs. Uh-huh. But I love cats. Oh, nice. Have you ever had a pet? Have you ever had a pet? Have you ever had a pet? Ama uwezi kumbuka uh-huh. yani you just love seeing yeah. a cat around yeah, okay yeah, yeah. nice but well, a cat there's no rats so yeah nice so as we wrap, wrap let's wrap this up with this one what else do you enjoy doing apart from presenting and maybe any other thing that you love doing what's the most thing that you enjoy doing well, okay relax ama oh, uh, i love sleeping sleeping <laughs> <laughs> i love sleeping uh-huh. Uh-huh. I love watching movies. Oh, nice, yeah. nice, nice, yeah. nice. So thank you so much for coming to the show. Okay. Time imekimbia sana, okay. but it was so exciting having you to the, in the show. Nimeshukuru yeah. sana. Um, we are hoping to have you next time yeah. very, very soon. And keep on doing the good work you're doing yeah. pale kwenye radio. Yeah. Yeah, Tumeshukuru sana. Nashukuru sana. Thank you for having me. Yes. I'm just doing like that. I yeah. should know. Yes. Thank so you. you can you can share with us maybe mtu anataka kutafuta pale kwenye uh, mm-hmm. social media mm-hmm. anataka maybe u, ukuje u speak in an event okay. uh, corporate or maybe a function. All right. So where can they find you? You can talk to your camera. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you can get me on Instagram at Maria underscore speaks mm-hmm. on Facebook at Maria speaks. It's one word mm-hmm. uh, on in, on uh, Twitter. It's at Maria underscore speaks. And I also am an author, so I should oh, say... Oh, nice, that. nice. So I have my first book out. Mm. It's called mm. Jehovah Mekadishkem. It's a book on freedom. Mm, nice. Especially freedom from masturbation, addictions, wow. alcoholism, mm. and stuff like that. Mm. So you can reach me out on any of the inboxes, then you'll mm. get your book. Okay. So, uh, kuna kwa bookshop flani? Ah, si eko kwa bookshop. So we can get it directly yes. from you. Okay. Thank you so much. You. We have had an amazing time with you. Thank you so much, Mark. Yes. So that was all from us here at Sanaa Namitindo. Remember, we air every Wednesday at 8 p.m. You can't afford to miss any other episode. Tuna and Elena, he series, Kenya's finest radio presenters. See you next Wednesday as we get another guest hapa kwenye sanana mitindo for now arios